We've been researching and developing our bioiron technology to reduce carbon dioxide emissions in the steelmaking industry. The next stage is to build a one tonne per hour pilot plant in Australia. Here's how it works. The first step is raw materials preparation. We use iron ore fines, fluxes and raw biomass which is milled to size. Our test work has shown we can use a wide range of biomass types. Our process will use agricultural byproducts, the parts you can't eat, rather than food crops like corn or sugar, and potentially purpose-grown energy crops. We are working to ensure only sustainable sources of biomass are used. We measure the materials at the right ratios of iron ore, fluxes and biomass onto the conveyor which are fed to the mixer. The mixer uses high-speed paddles to combine the raw materials together into a homogeneous blend. This blend is fed to the high-pressure briquetting machine to compress the mixture into briquettes. The briquettes are about the size of a golf ball and don't need a binder or any high temperature processing. This minimises energy usage and reduces carbon emissions. The briquettes are then fed onto a high temperature conveyor belt where biomass gases are combusted to preheat them. Once the bed has reached around 600 degrees Celsius, the briquettes transition to the microwave section of the furnace. At these temperatures, the briquettes are like sponges, extremely absorbent of microwave energy. This rapidly metallizes the briquettes and converts them into direct reduced iron, commonly known as DRI. The microwaves can heat through the bed, which is a unique and efficient feature not achieved today with conventional technologies. As the last step, off-gas is cooled and cleaned. Our bio-iron process works well with our Pilbara iron ores and if successful, will provide an economic solution to help us mitigate carbon dioxide emissions in the steel industry.